Hi, this is David Ojeda with Fritz Pack Corporation. You know, when it comes to concrete pumping, we spend a lot of time talking about harsh concrete mixes. So today, I wanted to expand on that concept to help both ready mix producers and concrete pumpers better understand how the mix design is going to affect the pumpability of the mix. And I'll also share with you how our products can help alleviate a lot of those common pumping problems. So keep watching to learn more. As a pump operator, you don't always control what kind of concrete shows up to the job site. Sometimes you're going to be asked to pump mixes that have larger aggregates than you would like, or mixes that are straight cement instead of park fly ash. So what can you do to minimize your risk and increase the productivity of the job if the mix isn't ideal for pumping? First, let's talk about aggregate size and shape. Larger, jagged aggregates like crushed gravel or chip stone can increase friction in the line. This friction not only raises the temperature of the mix, but also speeds up the rate of hydration and can lead to moisture loss. With sharp or irregularly shaped aggregates, there's a greater chance they'll bump into each other or even get stuck, increasing pressure and the risk of a line plug. Also with aggregate size, best practices for concrete pumping says that the largest aggregate size should be no more than one third the size of the diameter of the pipe. So for example, five inch pipe should be pumping aggregate that is no larger than 1.7 inches. And two inch hose should be pumping aggregate that is no larger than 0.7 inches. Another factor is the concrete slump, which affects the concrete's flow. While a very low slump mix is hard to pump, too much water in a high slump mix can also create problems. Excess water can lead to segregation of the mix. Basically, the cement paste will move ahead of the aggregates, which leads to more friction and potential blockages. Finally, supplementary cementitious materials, or SCMs, such as fly ash or slag cement, can improve pumpability. These fine materials enhance the cohesiveness of the mix, helping reduce segregation and allowing for smoother pumping. They can even act as a buffer for harsher, jagged aggregates. This is where slick pack priming materials can make all the difference. Slick pack is a high viscosity primer that reduces friction, keeps the mix temperature stable, prevents segregation, and helps retain moisture in the concrete as it moves through the line. And if you're dealing with a particularly harsh mix, you can add Slick Pack 2 directly to the truck. This provides extra lubrication to get even the toughest mix through your pump. Both Slick Pack and Slick Pack 2 are ASTM C494 certified and approved by DOTs in several states, so you can trust their performance on the job. They have been on the market for decades, and they are a tried and true method for improving the pumpability of the harshest mixes out there. Thanks for watching our video. So if you're ready to tackle some of the harshest concrete mixes out there, go to our website at fritzpack.com to order your case of Slick Pack products today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information on how our products can improve your concrete.